In a previous video, we cut a hole in the side of the small engine and we ran it until the connecting rod came apart. In fact, parts came flying out of the side of the engine. It was pretty crazy. Anyway, at least 150 to 200 people asked that I repair this connecting rod using JB Weld. I don't think it's going to work, but I'll give it my best shot and we'll find out once and for all just how tough this JB Weld is. Before we apply the JB Weld, it is extremely important that we go ahead and clean this surface properly. I'll be using some B12 Chem Tool. Now I'm going to be also using a very mildly abrasive pad. I don't want to sand the parts too much because I want to keep the original cast aluminum. I want to leave that undisturbed as much as possible so it'll help bond together. But I do need to get all the oily substances off of this connecting rod as well as each one of these parts before I begin to put the epoxy on. Okay, I've got the connecting rod all glued back together. This looks really good. With that being said, I really lack confidence that this JB Weld is up to the task of holding this thing together. So I'll go ahead and give it a try once this cures a little bit longer. Um, this threads in nicely. Fortunately, I went with a longer bolt and I had to ground down the head a little bit to make it work. But I need a little bit more bolt length in order for this to work and give it a little more security but this is going together nicely. Everything seems to fit fairly snug. This, whenever it came apart, whenever this uh, connecting rod disintegrated, it actually bent some of this cast aluminum, making it virtually impossible to repair. But here's one more look at it. Okay, I've got this back together. You can see the connecting rod cap the bolt that I use that's a little bit longer than the stock bolt as well as the uh, the bottom end of the connecting rod and this of course is up where the uh, the piston and the top end of the connecting rod. As you can see there's just not nearly as much movement as there was before so this is a little bit tighter there's still a little bit of rattle in there but not very much. Okay we've got the engine on the test stand I'm going to rotate this engine by hand just so you can see how things are working inside. The engine seems to have pretty good compression considering all things. Unfortunately, JB Weld did not last very long. This thing just totally blew apart again. With that said, part of, it, part of the JB Weld did stick, so it's not as in as many pieces as it was before. Like I said earlier, everything has its limits. JB Weld is a great product, but this is definitely beyond the capability of what JB Weld is designed to do. Well, unfortunately, JB Weld was not up to the task. I had hoped to see this engine run for at least 30 seconds to a minute, but JB Weld just could not take the, the incredible amount of pressure that takes place inside of an engine. Part of this is probably my fault because when this engine disintegrated the first time, the connecting rod 
was sort of bent in some places, so when I glued the pieces back together, it, it left too much of a gap, and JB Weld just could not really adhere as good as it could have. And so maybe there was a better way to do this, but I had a lot of fun doing this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, you guys gave me a lot of great ideas. I hope I've earned a thumbs up. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos, so keep those ideas coming. If there's something I could do better, I'd love to hear that from you as well. Until next time, please take care and look forward to seeing you then.